edible splines, the geometry rollout, the mirror button. Let's go up and let's make an angle. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to extended splines and angle. I'm going to pick my angle, give it my thickness, and right click and now I have an angle. I'm going to pick on that angle, right click, and say convert to an edible spline. Now, the mirror button is only available to the spline sub-object. So, at this point I pick it, I have the spline, I've picked that whole spline. I want to come down here to the mirror button. When I pick, I, I choose the mirror horizontally, vertically, or both. I'm going to start with horizontally. I pick the mirror and it flip-flops it, so it mirrors upon itself when I flip it back and forth. So I'm mirroring horizontally now. Now I'm going to come over and pick the mirror vertically button. So when I pick on the mirror button, it mirrors it vertically. So I'm going back and forth, mirroring it vertically, picking on the mirror button each time I want to do that. And I can come over here and say mirror both. Now when I pick on it one time, boom, it mirrors it both horizontally and vertically. I'm going to pick again and it brings it back. So when I pick on the mirror button, it both mirrors it horizontally and vertically. So when I pick the button, whatever button I want, then I pick the, the mirror button, it does the operation. All right. So I'm going to bring it back to its a normal angle here. Now, I got some buttons down here. Uh, when I have it about pivot, the about pivot checkbox mirrors the spline according to the pivot point of the spline. And the copy, when I have the copy checked, it's going to mirror a copy of it. So here I'm mirroring it horizontally. When I go to hit mirror, now it mirrored a copy of it and it, it there's a copy of it. So it's just not mirroring the original, it's mirroring a copy of it. Now I got two of them. All right. So whenever you have the copy on, you get two, another one will come, will show up. So the mirror button is only available for the spline sub-object level, and it mirrors uh, the particular spline in the particular direction chosen by these three different buttons.